Greetings YouTube. I've spoken in the past about the fact that I consider the American for-profit prison system to be unethical and immoral. The concept that people are being incarcerated into institutions whose job it is to make money. They are, in essence, being sold into slavery. And seeing as the percentage of African Americans that are put into prison in America is significantly higher than any other ethnic group, that should really bother people. But apparently Americans are just a-okay with it. Well, I've spoken about the fact that I have a problem with the injustice in the system. That, you know, it's open to all kinds of influence and corruption. Well, now I have some hard, cold data for everyone. You see, there was a judge in Pennsylvania who took more than a million dollars in bribes to send thousands of children into juvenile detention centers. Juvenile detention centers that are for profit. The detention centers take in students, or kids, um, and get paid by the government to do so. So the more students they get, the more money they make, and they channel some of that money into the pocket of a federal judge to send more kids to their detention centers. And this judge has just received a 28-year sentence. I'll be stunned if he serves 14. Um, and frankly, I don't know if 28 years is enough. Because this man has accepted a bribe, undermined the very nature and fabric of justice in America, and frankly, in my opinion, undermined the fabric of democracy. Not to mention, he has sent thousands of people who are more than likely innocent to a detention center just so someone can make money. Because of this, 4,000 court cases have been tossed because they're corrupt. There's no way of knowing if justice was actually done. Now, I fully believe that most of those kids were either not guilty of anything or guilty of very minor uh, situations, and they were given a harsher sentence to get them into the detention center. But I'm sure that some of them were probably guilty of things. But guess what? Those cases are going to be tossed too. So not only has this guy done all these horrible things to society, now we're going to be unleashing actual criminals because of his actions. Their way to go, social conservative politicians and judges of America. I've said it in the past, and I'm going to be saying it a whole lot between now and the 2012 election. Social conservatives are bad for America, no matter where they are in this society, but particularly when they are judges. So I'll link to the article. You can go read about this thing. 28 years in prison for taking a million dollars. I got one question left. How about all the people that bribed him? Why aren't they joining him in prison as well? Because you know, it takes two to bribe. The briber and the bribee should really receive equal punishments in my book.